Hey gang, y'all welcome back to the Roadhouse. Uh, we're gonna do a simple little cook today. Uh, we're gonna do some prime red vine baked potatoes. So, uh, show y'all what we're working with here today, guys. We've got some uh, nice, thick, probably mm, some big ones there, man. Probably shoot an inch and three quarters prime ribeye and we got us a couple of big old bacon potatoes over there but what we're gonna do gang uh, we're gonna hit this stuff with some of this big mo caisson beef rub that's uh, some good stuff right there and uh, i also got some of this rub also also by big mo caisson uh, that's your your <laughs> Texas brisket rub. So you know what that means, right? We're gonna have to do another brisket. We're gonna try this on our steaks today. Let me get this stuff opened up and uh, get everything seasoned up, y'all, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, we got our steaks on our pan here. And uh, this beef rub, man, it's got a real good beefy taste to it. It's uh, got a, a lot of different stuff in it. Nice little heat on the finishes, you know, just when you when you taste it. But uh, we're gonna put this on here liberally here. Do a little coating. Make sure you get the sides. Cause we want to cover all this, all this prime with this goodness, y'all. We're gonna do it like that. Nice little coat. Just pat it in. We'll get the other one done and uh, we'll be back. All right, gang, we got our steaks seasoned up and they're marinating. Just want to show y'all our uh, potatoes. Make sure you wash them first, get all that dirt and junk off of them. I like to take a knife and just stab some holes in mine. Just don't tear them up, just kind of stick them, you know. Let that heat penetrate a little bit. And I've tried it both ways you know sticking them and then cooking them without doing that and just wrapping in some heavy fall uh, and to me it just helps them cook a little quicker make sure you wrap them with some heavy duty foil and uh just put them on the grill these that size potatoes right there uh they'll, they'll probably take an uh, hour to cook you know of course i'm gonna flip them but i'll show y'all all that and we're gonna cook this on the uh on the oklahoma joe we're gonna take and uh, move our heat deflector up, and we're gonna we're gonna take and put our charcoal basket uh, on top of that, and we're gonna do some direct grilling. Let me get that set up outside, and I'll bring y'all out there and show you. All right, so all you gotta do to set this up for direct grilling is uh, take your ash basket and your charcoal basket out. Just leave that spacer ring down in the bottom take your heat deflector and set it in this normal position and you take your ash basket and set it there charcoal basket set it there and you take your grill you set it up top normally so that's all you got to do pretty versatile uh smoker guys love this thing man but uh let me get this pit lit and we'll be back all right we got our chimney stoked with some kings for charcoal and i uh, started using these grill trade fire starters seem to work pretty good so far y'all so uh you know like a little like a little hay bale seem to work pretty good though so far so good anyway got this going and uh we'll let the chai coals get happy while the steaks marinate and uh, all right we'll the grill's back. hot and uh if y'all see what i did here i only put the charcoal I stacked them up on one side of the charcoal basket and uh, that way we can put our taters on this side 
but we're going to put them over here. It's the first time doing this on this grill, so we're going to see how it works out. Anyway, we're going to give these about 20 minutes, and we're going to come back and check them, y'all. So we'll be back. Oh, yeah, babe. Just restoked with a little wood for the taters. Look at that, y'all. She's throwing flames out the stack. Nice. About 40 minutes in, we'll check the taters in about another 10. All right, y'all. It's been about an hour. And we're trying to get this tent pretty hot. Just climbing up. I just had the lid cracked. But uh, we're about 275, I guess. Something like that. Let's see how these tires are doing. Oh, man. Now, I don't tempt these. I just do it by feel, y'all. Pretty squishy. I think we're going to go by another 10 minutes. We've got the intake and exhaust wide open. But, uh, we're going to go another 10 and uh, we'll be back. Alright, y'all. Let's check our taters. Woohoo, yeah. Nice. We'll pull these bad boys off and we'll be right back and throw some steaks on here. Alright, taters are off. Steaks are going on, gang. We're going to probably give these bad boys about three minutes on each side. Yes, sir. And we're testing out the way this thing cooks. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Gosh, it smells good. All right, back in about three. All right, y'all, right, three minutes. We're going to turn them about 45 degrees. Let them go another three minutes. All them. right, it's been six minutes on that side. What we're going to do, y'all, we're going to roll this bad boy around like this, and we'll get us some... Get us some clean grill. And we're going to flip them, and we're going to do the other side. Not All right, y'all. About another three minutes on this side. Yeah, baby. Boy, that's that's pretty. I see that. Nice. It smells terrific. All right, another three on this side. We'll be back. All right, total cook time, guys. About twelve minutes. We're gonna pull these bad boys off of here. Let them rest for a minute. Oh yeah. We'll get them inside and we'll check them out. All Back right, in. we plated it up, stayed resting about 30 minutes. Got our baked potato done, and they came out pretty darn good, y'all. See if I can get a little zoom up on this for y'all. Oh, yeah, baked potato, prime ribeye. All right, let's get a bite of this, y'all, and check out Big Mo Quezon's up here. Man, nice and juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's a good beef this flavor, y'all. That's really good. A little pepper on the finish. Mm. Boy, that's good, y'all. Very good. Anyway, hey, appreciate all y'all coming by. If you like, thumbs up comment, like, subscribe, and uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll be back next week with another cook. Catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.